You ready for your headliner? Hell yeah! Clap it up for Stavros Hakian! How we doing, gang, huh? Good? Hey, this is the last leg of my tour. I'm so excited. This is the last one. I'm taking three months off after this, so yeah. Thank you. So this is kind of like, you know how hard you work like the Tuesday of Thanksgiving? <laughs> You know, when you're like, oh, I got a nice vacation coming up, you know. That's what you're gonna get tonight. I don't know what you're talking about. You're getting fucking waiting, thinking about sweet potato casserole, barely answering emails. That's, the, that's what the fuck I've got tonight, folks. Barely you don't ask for your money back competency. I'm fucking burned out, man. It's been nine months. I haven't really been home for longer than one week. I counted earlier. 28 cities, 132 shows. The only breaks I've had are getting COVID twice and Christmas for one week. I am completely spent. I don't really want to do these shows, but we're almost done. I still love the road. It's weird. I do too. I if it wasn't destroying my body, it yeah. would be heaven. Well, like that's every a choice. My my <laughs> vice shows up right away. You motherfuckers are gonna have cirrhosis in ten years. Uh, <laughs> the check engine light has been on on my body for the last three months. <laughs> you ever ride in a like a Civic where your foot is just completely on the just full on down, and you're it's like 47 miles an hour. <laughs> it's on the highway with your blinkers on. Go around. <laughs> that's me right now. I'm, I'm gonna barely make it through this weekend. <laughs> The show is at 7. I wake up at 1 p.m. <laughs> yep. I get breakfast at a diner. I go back into my bed until 6.50. I get there as JP is halfway into his set. I do the first uh, one. I lay on the couch between, eat a comedy club chicken tongue. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this fucking show. I just picture a waitress feeding you grapes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happy to be here. Barely made it. I'm going to be honest with you. I was hung over from my breakfast. You understand that? Have you ever gone to eat with a bunch of friends and be like, we should get something for the table, you know? <laughs> I got a decadent ass French toast for the table, and I, I knew from the beginning I was gonna eat 75% of it, but <laughs> it gave me the cover I needed to have a second entree for breakfast. <laughs> and uh, my guts are paying the price. Um, you ever have to stop a shower midway to shit? You ever do that? <laughs> Where you're like, if I shower, then shit, it'll undo the entire shower. <laughs> Knowing the shit's that bad, you're like, this, I might as well have not bathed. This is, that's the damage this is gonna do to my body. So I have to pause and just take a conditioner in my hair shit. You ever do that? <laughs> if I have to bolt for the door, understand that's what's happening. It's, it's the revenge of the creme brulee French toast. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I, I'm, there, thanks, buddy. You're right. <laughs> Somebody step on your toe. <laughs> My name is Stav. <laughs> That's honestly the funniest a heckle I've ever got. Is so, so, someone calling me Steve. <laughs> It's like you're meeting your girlfriend's dad who doesn't actually give a shit about you. It's like, oh, Steve, I understand you do theater. So how was last night? You went to bed early. I don't know. It's always hard to fucking go to bed, but yeah. I went to bed. I was high as shit. I went to fucking uh, to CVS to get toothpaste and some like medicine. And I completely forgot, but I got all those fucking snacks over there. So I just ate a bunch of fucking snacks. It's impossible not to eat like shit, especially if you try not to drink, which I'm trying not to do because that's also bad for you. You need some. And if you're not gonna stay out all night trying to fuck some girl, it's like, well, I'll have some snacks. Anybody here plumping up these days? Yeah? What are you doing, buddy? What's going on? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Right next to your door to where you live. That's fucked up, dude. They should. <laughs> That's tough. That is. They should do something about that. The way like sex offenders can't live near schools, you know. <laughs> they should see how fat the population is in a neighborhood before they put a Taco Bell in there, you know. Have you been going through something? What's going on? Why you? Why you? Hate, hate your job. What do you do? What's the job? I'm a resident director at a college. Resident director at college. Oh, so you're like the the boss RA. You're like, oh, that, yeah. that does suck. No one respects you. <laughs> you went pro. 
pro at being an RA. <laughs> you're trying to be like, hey, stop having fun in there. I'm a 32 year old man. <laughs> you 19 year olds better not be smoking weed watching Family Guy in there. If you are, I'm gonna get an extra cheesy gordita crunch today. <laughs> Switch fucking careers, dude. What are we thinking? I needed the housing. You needed the housing? You live in a dorm? <laughs> no! So when you say the Taco Bell by where you live, you mean you go to the, the commons? <laughs> you mean the fucking dining hall? Is that what you're talking about? guy silently eating cheesy fiesta potatoes next to 20 year olds on molly <laughs> this is this or a tent outside <laughs> fuck all right i've got i'm going to stop i'm going to move on it is really good though you know this is like when this is when you accidentally buy a family size bag of doritos and you're just like all right that's it i'm gonna roll it up i'm gonna roll it up i'm gonna put it here I'm done. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what were we talking about? Getting fat as hell. That's right. All right. We're 7 Eleven? The other way, the other way. Turn around. I'm unhealthy and I need to lose a bunch of fucking weight. It looks like it's pretty close to my hotel, so. There's no other way for me to do that unless I really focus on it exclusively. It should be coming up here. <laughs> Hopefully it's closed. There we go. 7 Eleven. I'm gonna go to Baltimore. My brother is a strength coach. I'm literally going to work out with my little brother for a month. I just need some protein, man. Excuse me, can I have the hot honey boneless wing stick and a beef patty? <laughs> so I wanna like, you know, go to bed early, eat right, exercise, all that kind of stuff. You can roll over <laughs> You don't say. <laughs> You're gonna send it back. Can I talk to the chef? <laughs> I'm trying to get healthy and bounce back and I have a really big 2023 planned. So, I don't want to die before then. I want to be fucking alive. And if I keep at this pace, boy oh boy, I was getting another 30 pounds by December probably. Hey, guys gotta do it, guys gotta do it. Hey, on the road, man, it's hard out here on the road. <laughs> what are you doing? Anybody here plumping up these days? Yeah? What are you doing, buddy? What are you plumping up on? Do you have like a favorite? Uh... Heath Bar Blizzards from DQ. Heath, Heath Bar Blizzards from DQ. DQ. See, this is a man that is spiraling, right? Because he didn't say ice cream. He didn't say whatever you got. He said Heath Bar DQ. <laughs> they know him by name over there. Do you live near a DQ? Uh, no, it's within like the DoorDash. Within Door. Oh, you get you get ice cream delivered. <laughs> Oh, man. This guy is applying pressure to the Guatemalan man on an electric bicycle. <laughs> How many times this month have you gotten a DQ Blizzard oh, it's delivered? Been bad this month. Bad this hot. month? Huh? It's been hot. It's hot. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this guy, right? This is, these are the fattest excuses I've ever heard in my life. It's hot. That's so awesome. It's hot. Come on, it's fucking hot. I need ice. I need to I need to buy I need to spend what I'm guessing with tax tip service fee is $17 for a DQ blizzard. I definitely shouldn't cut the ceiling fan on. So is there something going on that's leading you down the ice cream everyday path or are you dealing with any traumas, any uh, any disappointments? Being bad? Being a bad little boy. <laughs> okay, interesting. Did you, 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 you just get a little hard when you said that? <laughs> I'm a bad little boy. Mommy doesn't like when I have ice cream. But I don't care. <laughs> When you start doing crowd work, you feel like you're fucking drowning and you're reaching for anything, but it's like, it's not even about being funny in those instances, really. It's about, I'm gonna find something interesting. Any unserved brothers in the crowd? Yeah. My man, nice. What does your dad's penis look like? Strangely enough, and I just saw a picture. A picture? <laughs> That's so much worse than just having a mental image from childhood. I was going through old family photos, didn't expect it. Your family photos, there's a picture of your father's penis in there. 
here's Disneyland, and you always love the teacups, and oh, oh, there's your father's penis. <laughs> He's got little Mickey ears on his balls. <laughs> Has anybody ever been mad when they see your uncircumcised penis? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay, somebody said yeah over there. Wow. <laughs> You're a guest? You don't like to see uncircumcised penises? No, I do like to see them. Oh, you do? Okay, nice. Well, stick around. I don't know what you're up to. I'm in a pretty nice hotel. I've got just something to think about. What's going on, man? Gotta take the fucking edge off. Throw all your cocks out of frame. That must have been really hard to do. I'm not gonna show you my penis. I'm not. What do you think is gonna happen? Three guys are gonna chant so much that I sexually assault these other people. I'm gonna need it fluffed first anyway. I'm not, I'm not coming out purely soft in a fucking room full of 200 people. Are you out of your mind? I'm just gonna sit here for like 15 minutes like. <laughs> what? I'm almost done. Um, Sometimes you get people who are too, want to do a joke about everything and it's like, you just move on. What's going on over there? You guys all right? Sound like a giant. You said squirting too early, man. You're squirting? <laughs> You maybe you want to maybe want to hit a bathroom. <laughs> it sounds like you're a man, and it sounds. I think what you mean is you're. Okay, shut the fuck up. Uh, I understand you're a big man that other people respect. I don't respect you at all. <laughs> what happened? You spilled something? He spilled something. I was just upset. You were talking to skinny people. Yeah, I was talking to a fat person. But I'm sorry. I didn't mean fat. I didn't mean that. Chubby, you're not fat. You're, you're cute as hell. Listen, uh, sir, can I fuck your wife? Did not offend her. Is that right? Sometimes I feel like submissive people are getting away with something, you know? Like, that's not just always like, yes, speak on it, brother. Yeah. I don't know, dude, you do look like Charles Manson. It feels like the women, the women that want to fuck you want to be controlled. They want, they, want, they want exact instructions. Where do you live? You should have a little compound. You should have a little sexual compound. No, I live with my parents. You <laughs> Any women in here with short kings tonight? I'm 5'7". Okay. So when I first started dating my girlfriend, she was like 5'5". Five five. Okay. We dated for four years, by the end she was like 5'9". Wait, 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 hold on, time out. When was this? How old were you, how old was she? We're like, yeah, we started dating, and she hit her growth spurt, you know. You know that thing that adult women do. I'm out of it. Pasta poisoning. We did. Dude. <laughs> I'm high as shit. I'm off. I'm off that. I'm off that pasta. I'm off the gamad. You're there to put on a show. People paid a bunch of money, and it's like even if you accidentally took a hundred milligrams of Delta Eight edibles, <laughs> you have to fucking put on a show. I've been high for like 18 hours in a row. You know? <laughs> I accidentally took a bunch of edibles last night. Uh, I guess they just sell weed in stores here? I didn't know that. You just buy weed. And the guy was like, what's up? You smoke weed? I was like, yeah. I, was like, I didn't want the guy at the counter to think I wasn't cool, you know? He let me hit a vape. He was like, try this. Just let me hit a vape. Like it was Costco and it was a sample. I was like, that's pretty good, but I'm kind of in an edible zone right now. And he was like, oh, try these. And he was like, if these don't get you high, you get your money back. And I was like, you know what? This is a good businessman right here. <laughs> I'm gonna support him, and I just took two thinking they'd be 10 milligram ones, and they were 50 milligram ones, so I slept till um, 3 p.m. today. Got a gigantic Italian lunch, and then slept again immediately afterwards. <laughs> the first show today was at seven o'clock. I set an alarm for 6.55, and <laughs> just got here moments after JP set ended, and the last two and a half hours is barely, I don't even, this could not, like I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, ready for Saturday. <laughs> like that's, that's, that's what today is. So I'm gonna keep it together for you guys. I'm a professional, but. We're going to see what it's like when a man does comedy in a fugue state today. How long is it been? Nine months. Uh, yeah, Last damn. August. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Did you, uh, don't you have a dinner after this? No, no dude, honest. I do not. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I appreciate it, but no, I, got, yeah. I, got another, I got another show, and I also oh, don't right. want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I got you. Hey, great meeting you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.
Good I really enjoyed the, the first half of the tour. Like I was going, you party on the road, fucking though, right? wild. Yeah, I completely <laughs> depleted my health bar right. in, the, in the first two months of the tour, where I wasn't even trying to get pussy. That's when you know I'm depressed. <laughs> where it's like girls are in my DMs, like, do you want to come to a bar? I'm like, a bar. <laughs> even women, you want delivery? Yeah. You're like, I don't want to get takeout. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody here breakup? Going through a breakup? No? Who would? It's okay. You don't have to. It's all right. Don't, for, don't force her. She's going through enough. <laughs> right, you doing all right, though? Yeah, okay. You're okay? All right. Who's this guy? <laughs> Is he the guy that you broke up with? <laughs> you bought the tickets? I bought the tickets. You bought the Not tickets? Not the guy breaking up with. Okay. Did you almost force your date to talk about her breakup? Is that what you... <laughs> Is that your strategy, you dumb bitch? <laughs> yeah, right here, bro. I'm trying to take advantage of her emotionally. She's in a really low place. I figure maybe I can fuck. <laughs> That's awesome. You can do better, ma'am. Uh... <laughs> Anybody here been with a strong girl before? Like a bodybuilder? Like You have? You been with a strong girl? Horse girl? Just like a girl that was into horses? That's not... She's like, built the same as me. But from riding horses she got that way? And eating food. Okay, interesting. What do you mean, your body, like exactly your body type? <laughs> Just you with long hair, is that what you're saying? He's on those little horses outside of a grocery store? But yeah, he's out here again, can you please get it? Yeah. He's wearing a wig, he's got his lipstick. How'd you meet her? Well... She was a lesbian in my science class. <laughs> you couldn't have said she was in my science class? <laughs> She's talking to her friends. There's this sexy bitch in my class built exactly like me. <laughs> she was pissed when she saw your dick. She's like, what the hell is this? I thought by his hips for sure there was a pussy under here. <laughs> How did you hit it off? This is very interesting, actually. Uh, yeah, well, the only reason I mentioned she was lesbian is because my gay buddy introduced us. Okay, nice. So your gay friend introduced you to a, a lesbian woman. Yeah, and she basically wanted to give it a trial. Wow. So this is, there was no romance involved here. It was just like, hey, here's my guy. This is my buddy. He doesn't care that you look exactly like him. <laughs> I'm looking for a guy to fuck a woman that looks like a man. I got the guy. Follow me to the science lab. <laughs> Get your beaker and Bunsen burner. I know the guy. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Holy shit. Yeah. And how big is your penis, if you won't mind me asking? <laughs> is it the kind of penis that would scare someone who hasn't been fucked by one? Or is it a nice starter penis? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> listen, I, I'd be a great starter penis. If there's any lesbians out here tonight, they want to fuck somebody who's got a dick that won't do too much damage, I'm your guy. All right? That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much. That's the tour. Appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. I'll see you out there. God damn. It's done, fuckers. There's a diminishing returns on your stand-up if you just keep hammering it and don't really take a break from it or take a look at it. And there's also just diminishing returns as a human being. We did it. I don't want to keep talking about my demons. I want to get them under control. Every time I need to piss, I take out a little needle and prick my dick. Piss comes out.
YouTube shuts down indefinitely. Halkius <laughs> loses fortune. <laughs>